Custody battle over a famous painting on display at the DIA is now heading to a courtroom this morning. And the clock is ticking for that art collector who claims to own it to get it back. This is the painting we're talking about by Vincent Van Gogh. It's known as the Novel Reader. It's been part of the DIA's Van Gogh in America exhibit since October. But last week, a Brazilian art collector filed a lawsuit against the DIA, claiming he's been searching for that masterpiece for years. Well, this morning, a judge will consider ordering the DIA to hand the painting over. And timing here is crucial. The exhibit ends on Sunday, and the Brazilian art collector fears the painting could disappear once again. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shaws is joining us live right outside the DIA this morning where this international art battle is unfolding. Drama indeed, Jen. Yeah, a lot of drama, Alicia and Keenan. And depending on how you look at it, it's not all bad for the DIA because the notoriety surrounding this chaos is drawing massive crowds here for this exhibit, particularly for this painting, which the DIA says every time it gets paintings on loan, it does search a registry for lost and stolen artwork. It says this painting wasn't listed on there. So from the DIA's perspective, it's done its due diligence. But this painting will take center stage this morning in federal court at 10 o'clock. We'll have to see what a judge decides. That's wild for one. I wonder how it got was able to get stolen. There's one piece standing out above the rest. The DIA's Van Gogh exhibit open until this Sunday. The novel reader fetching big crowds, not just for its artistry, but for the lawsuit it's embroiled in. Today at 10 a.m., a judge could decide whether or not to require the museum to hand over the painting to a Brazilian art collector who, through his attorney, claims he bought the piece six years ago for $3.7 million. This now public battle sparking curiosity from art lovers like Frank Seymour. It'd be great to see it and what the controversy is. In a new filing Wednesday, attorneys for the collector asked the court to reject the DIA's request for dismissal based on an act, the Immunity from Seizure Act, that they claim is irrelevant because the rightful and uncontested owner of the work is their client, not the DIA. The collector, a man named Gustavo Soder, reportedly gave possession, but not the title of the painting, to a third party. He claims the third party took off with the work. Then Soder saw a photo of it on social media, learning it was here at the DIA. The museum telling Action News via a statement that it regularly enters into loan agreements and before doing so follows best practices, including research of ownership. These things happen. Uh, they've been happening more frequently in recent years as people who are disputing works of art discover that they are in, you know, in a museum. All of this sort of underscored by the DIA's pride in being the first American museum to own a work of Van Gogh. A hundred years ago, it purchased his self-portrait. Again, this uh, issue regarding this specific painting, the novel reader returning to court at 10 a.m. This morning, we, of course, will be following this. A lot of people curious, art fans, art collectors, specifically this Brazilian art collector and the DIA curious as to the next steps. And again, Van Gogh exhibit here at the DIA is open through this Sunday. Reporting live in Detroit, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Yeah, missing artwork, international lawsuits, and the fear that it could go missing. This is a real drama. Jen Schantz, live for us this morning in Midtown. Thank you, Jen.